These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Bruce via Wiser Now. It would appear from what I have heard that we can look forward to the rest of this week. Iraq has been a country which has finally been given their sovereignty, finally has a currency that they have been able to set the rate on and trade globally. That happened last Saturday afternoon into Sunday. Right, Pimpy, Iraq seems to be moving aggressively and forward in a positive manner. We know that they are getting ready for the elections, about 12 days, less than a couple weeks. Let's hope al Kazimi gets back in there and continues to do great things that he is doing. Frank26, incoming from Eddie, a guru, guru Firefly TV, keeps talking today about the construction bonds and the relationship to the exchange rate. Keep talking about lowering the exchange rate. We used to be 1160, and the way he talks sounds like, to one, he, in the other words, is talking about a revalue without actually saying it, but that's what spells out RV. All right, Mark Z via PDK in Iraq. I'm still hearing they're planning on a new rate and lower denominations before tomorrow morning. That is still the goal from all my Iraqi contacts. Let's hope this is it. All right, Holly, RV update says... All sources, and even some I do not hear from often, have said this is the week it all starts. All right, from Bruce via Wiser Now, Iraq had two separate bond offerings over this past weekend. That is showing the sovereignty and the authenticity of the Iraqi dinar in its ability for Iraq to offer these very large bond offers with obviously a new rate on a bond that is gold-backed by Iraq, and certainly their Iraqi dinar is also gold-backed. I think we can say Iraq is done, and they have done everything they have been asked to do, and the signing of the sovereignty and the sanctions that the USA Corp has put on Iraq have been removed, and they're rolling. I just know that we are all excited about the possibility of this going this week. Mountain Goat says, let's get on with our facts for this new news period. It's all about the dinar exchange rate and managing it. This news about the exchange rate has been going ongoing for months now, and it's very good news. We have not seen this kind of news ever since this investment began. I've been in it for 15 years now. We look forward to better days ahead for Iraq. My CBI contact still tells me that January 2022 period is planned for a major change in the exchange rate. I do not believe this major change is back to pre-devaluation December 2020 rate, but rather a pre-1990s rate of over 3 to $4, and this would have to mean a reinstatement to the Forex. All right, Mark Z via PDK, remember the article from yesterday that in Iraq, they have now legally upheld that all the transactions mm -hmm. there on taxation, salaries, and any oil purchasing is now to be done in the Iraqi dinar instead of petrodollars. This is big, and it comes on the heels of the article stating that the GOI supports a floating exchange rate for the dinar, meaning they're ready to allow the rate to float and adjust. Huge stories out of Iraq. All right, Mountain Goat article, quote, A source for economy news, the bonds are worth a trillion dinars and will go to fill the budget deficit. This article, to me, speaks volumes. They're going to finance the rebuilding of their cities and do it through bonds. Wow. By not borrowing from the IMF, they have made a huge leap in managing their own monetary policy, and this is exactly what the IMF needs to see. Remember, they told us the ISX was now free of all international sanctions. This means they fully intend to go international with the ISX, I believe this is coming soon as we get closer to January 2022.